Yo, Luso gang, what's going on, man? It's your favorite YouTuber, The Random Life of Luso. And I got a lot of subscribers asking me about my knives. Do I collect knives? And I got a couple more subscribers asking me, you know, go ahead and post some more of those videos that you be finding at them gun show collections. I mean, at the gun shows. You know what I'm saying? Because I buy more than just guns at a gun show. You be finding a lot of crazy things at the gun show. So here's a couple of my finds again. But before we jump into it, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Thank you for all my subscribers that's reaching out to me, supporting me, you know, showing me love in the comments, man. I really appreciate that, man. We got that merch out now. Go ahead and support the channel. Grab that merch. Go and get you a t-shirt. Go and get you a mug. You know, whatever you need to support the channel, man, because the more you support me, the more I'll be able to give you these dope videos, man. So go ahead and subscribe, you know, support. You know, for the guys that haven't subscribed yet, man, thank you for coming and dropping in, man. And before you leave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and join that notification gang, man. Hit that button, man. So when I drop, you gets to drop. You understand what I'm saying? Boom. So let's just jump into it. I got a couple pieces here. This is all about the knives today. So we're going to slide these to the side. You know what I'm talking And this is my little axe. I don't know. It's like the... Like little miniature acts that I, I, I freaking love this thing. It's kind of dope. Um, my lady picked this one up. You know, she ended up collecting knives too. So she picked this one up. It's a little miniature axe, man. This thing is pretty sharp. I mean, pretty sharp. If you just see, this thing is nice. You understand? This thing is nice. Yeah, this thing is sharp. Look at that. So. I don't know. I don't got too much to say about this thing because I haven't really done anything with it yet. You understand? Usually, everything I touch, I customize a little bit, little bit to fit me. But I haven't done anything to this. This is, like I said, this is my my, my lady's uh, little little axe, man. So you know, this is about the finds that we find at the gun shows, man. You know, we get to collect the knives. So I, I don't even know what to say, man. You know, if anybody know anything about this, it looked like it was just homemade. You know what I mean? It looked like it was just homemade. But it's this guy that I, I I really, really rock with at the gun shows. I keep a good rapport with him. And he be giving us real good deals on things, man. So, I, you know, this could be a nice, you know, defense weapon. Ah, 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 ah. Chop, 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 chop. My brother all up. Ah, 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 ah. Don't come over here. You know, if you into cooking, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you can chop up some onions, bell peppers. You know what I'm saying? This is nice. You know, I might end up doing a video, um, you know, doing some throwing video to see you know how this thing really, really works. Um, I mean, the, the ergonomic of it is for my hand is kind of, you know, brilliant. Whoever made this, this is kind of dope. I like the way it looks, you know, the wood. I like how that looks right there. I mean, this fits my hand properly, you know, like, ah, 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 cha, 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 you come out here stealing, I'm chopping them fingers off. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I might have to try to pick another one of these up, man. This might be something you can throw at the trees or something. Something you can have fun with. You know, it might be just another self-defense weapon that you might want to carry in your bag. When you out hiking, you know? A lot of people do a lot of hiking and camping. This is real good for camping. You can cut down branches. So you can, you know what I'm saying? Bow. Get that get that, that fire going. You know, go and get some branches. Get that fire going while you're out camping. This is a nice piece to throw in a bag. Just throw in a bag and keep it moving, you know? Throw a nice little paper on it with a rubber band to keep it, you know, protected so I don't get chopped up. My fingers don't get chopped all up. But uh, this is a nice piece to just throw in a bag. I really like this piece. You know what I mean? I'm not really into big old axes. But this is, come on, man. Come on, man. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, this is nice. So, like I said, man, let me know what y'all think about this. Would you would you cop this? Would you use it for self-defense? Would you use it for camping? Do you even have one of these? You know, little baby axe. We got to name this little thing. And I'm just loving the way the wood is on it. Like, it fits your hand perfectly. Now, whoever did this, props to you. Because the way it looks, you would think, okay, well, you know, just a handle. But no, the way your hand fits on this thing is just so nice. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, but I think I think I think it's time to find another one. So 
Tell me what you guys think about this one. This is a nice one, man. That's a nice one. Moving on. We got some throwing knives right here, man. Right? Got some good throwing knives. And they got a little belt holder so you can smack it on your belt, on you know, on your waist while you walking, you know, while you hiking or whatever you want to do, you know. This is a nice find at the gun show. These are throwing knives, all right? So you take these, you throw these. I've been practicing with these, you know. This was like probably last year. I haven't bought them out in a while. But this is another gun show find. These are Smith and Wessons. You know, when you got that Smith and Wesson on your side, you know, you might as well go ahead and strap this on your side too. When you got that thing thing on you. You feel what I'm saying? When you got that thing on you, you know, you go and get some thorn knives on there too. You know what I'm saying? Complete your your whole loadout. You feel me? This is pretty sharp. You know, it's not as sharp as that, you know, axe. But this is pretty sharp. Um, it's pretty light. Um, I found a couple of videos last year when we picked this up about uh, you know, I've been practicing on how to throw them. You know, I'm not into throwing knives, but you know, I found a couple of videos, a couple of guys. You know, did a couple dope videos to show me how to throw these things, and it actually worked. You know, you could throw them underhand, overhand, sidehand. I've been practicing a little bit, and yeah, I've just been practicing a little bit. So since the summertime is about to hit back around, I will be doing a lot more videos about throwing knives and um, how they work and which one worked the best and, you know, the weight of them. You know what I'm saying? The style of them. Because when I got into them, I just thought all throwing knives was the same. You know, I'm into guns. But then I realized, no, just like guns, they all, they, they're not the same. So, you know, comment down below. What you think about these, Smith & Wesson? Would you rock these right along with your firearm? Right on the waist with your firearm? How would you rock these? Would you take them, you know, would you use them for self-defense? Would you just use them just to practice? You know? You know? The shape of them is just made for throwing. I mean, I've seen a couple guys had a couple videos holding it like this. Holding it like this. I mean, it's a lot of different ways. Depends, I guess it depends on what you want to do or how you want to do it. You understand what I'm saying? But um, here goes a, here's another find at the gun show. I'm telling you, hit them gun shows, man. Hit them gun shows, man. They got a lot of stuff in there more than just guns. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I really see myself buying all my gun, all my knives from a gun show. Because when I go into a knife, a knife store, it's just so overwhelming. Like, you go into a knife store to buy a knife, there's just so many knives. It's so overwhelming. And then I, I realized a lot of those guys don't really have the proper information on where they came from, who made them, you know, why they was made like this. You know, they just selling them in the gun store, I mean, in the, in the um, knife stores. A lot of those guys just fill out the application and they just work and they sell them. They don't know anything about them. But you check out these gun shows, these guys, especially the guy that I mess with, he don't get none of his stuff. Well, maybe, I don't know about this, but this is probably from the U.S. But he don't really get none of his stuff from the U.S. He go travel out the country. And bring all his tricklers back. And um, I got a, quite a few things that he didn't he didn't brought back from Asia, you know what I'm saying, over in Europe and he's Japan, Germany, a lot of different spots that he didn't yeah, he don't went and brought some stuff back. And I like that because he brings back the information. He brings back information. You know, to feed my brain. I love information, that's just me. So I like it to have something and then to have a story with it. You know, these is you know, Smith Webs is not too much of a big story with these, but Nevertheless, you feel what I'm saying? So, these are my Smith & Wesson throwing knives. They got the Smith & Wesson pouch, you know, three-pack pouch. Um, I seen them on the website for about, what's it say, about 24 bucks for the three-pack. And I think that's an awesome deal for what you get. You know what I'm saying? You can shop these up more than you want. I mean, more than they are. And, you know, I think that's an awesome deal for 24 bucks. On the website, but I don't think we paid 24 bucks at the gun show. I think it was more like maybe a dub, maybe a dub, a hot dub, quick 20 buck, you know, a little quick 20 buck, you know. So that's that. We're moving right along. Yeah, we got some more throw knives, and these throw knives are from Hyben Knives. These knives are really dope. Like, I like these. These knives are so popular because they're in, over, they're in like over 30 movies and TV programs. Like, for example, it was in Rambo 3, Rambo 5, Expendables, uh, The Perfect Weapon, Natural Born Killer, 
Spawn, Mortal Kombat, Babylon 5, Under Siege. You feel what I'm saying? And on and on and on. I done researched this. These knives are popular. They've been in a lot of movies. This company, uh, Hybin Knives, made the uh, the Bowie knife, the Bowie knife, and the mini Bowie knife, and the dagger for the movie Rambo 3. So that's fire. The movie Rambo 3, this company had made the knives for. You know what I'm saying? Rambo 3 and Rambo 5. So... I am loving this fine. Like, like I said just a minute ago, I like having stuff that comes with a little bit of information, a little bit of history. You know what I'm saying? So you, you can explain to somebody about why these knives are dope, why your items are, you know, in your collection. So moving right into it, man. Stainless steel. Handcraft in China. These hybrid knives are nice. I really, really like these knives. You know what I mean? I really like these knives. So again, they got the three pouch, the three pack pouch. You know, you can slide the belt up on there, put it on your waist. You know, so again, let me ask you guys, what would you use these knives for? Would you use them for hunting? Would you use them for, you know, you know, cleaning a fish after you catch it? Like, what would you use them for? Would you use them for self-defense? If you know anything about these hobby knives, let me know. Okay, because these are custom designed knives. Let me know. I think I might even hit, them, hit hit that website up and see what else they got. But this is another gun show find. You know, these are pretty, pretty, pretty sharp. Got a good weight on it. I mean, you can slice and dice. Or you can also... Whatever way you throw. You know what I'm saying? This is another good find too. I like these. I even like... I love stainless steel. That's just one thing about me. And they got some weight on it. So I'm going, you know me, I was going, I'm thinking about going and put some mom's polish on these. Go ahead. I'm talking about shine them up. You know, put that mirror shine on them. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm going to just probably make about two of them. And I'm going to just leave one of them the way it is. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to just leave one of them just the way it is so I can remember the look that I had when I bought them. But I think two of these, I'm going to put some mom's polish on these, buff these up, shine these up, get a mirror, mirror finish on these things. These are these are dope, you know. I don't really know too 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 much about you know anybody else that has these or you know done had them, but I do. If you have them, please let me know because the, the the knife community is huge. You know what I'm saying. So for everybody that's in the knife community, hey, I'm jumping in with you guys, man. Go and slide over. I'm coming on in. I'm at the door knocking at the door. I'm about to kick that door in, man. Slide over because I always love knives. And I'm not just regular knives. I like custom stuff, you know, stuff that people don't have. So I'm going to say one more time, man. These knives was in over like 30 to 40 movies and TV shows. You understand what I'm saying? Like I'm sitting there looking at my computer right now and seeing like so many movies that have been in. And so many TV shows. So you guys let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ramble a little bit, a little bit over my time. But whatever, man. I got to give you guys some dope five, man. I got to give you some dope content, man. You know? So, again, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that notification bell. If you haven't already, go ahead and support the channel. And go ahead and check out that merch if you haven't already. You know? So, it's your boy, Luso, your favorite YouTuber. And I'm out of here. Boom.